That's right, Cartoon Fight Club is not dead. Well, the season 3 format is, but that's because I'm starting a new series known as Rewind Rumble. So please check that link down below to learn more information about that. But since the season 3 format is gone, season 3 is going to evolve back to season 2's format only because Rewind Rumble will take place as season 3's format on its own separate quality channel. So on this channel, expect to see bonus episodes like this one, meme episodes, joke episodes, and serious episodes. Today we have a serious bonus episode between Mario and Crash Bandicoot. To learn more about Mario, check out the Super Smash Bros. vs. PlayStation All-Stars episode, and to learn more about Crash, check out Crash vs. Wolverine. This is a bonus episode, so let's not waste any time and get straight into the battle. And now, let's set ourselves a circumstance. This battle will take place on Earth with no preparation. With all this in mind, let the battle begin! If you enjoyed that animation, special thanks to Omega7321. Also, expect to see a lot of animations of this quality or better for the future of Cartoon Fight Club Season 3. We're not lowering the quality, we're just changing formats. It's like apples to oranges, so don't get too worried if you think this shift again is going to be a bad thing. It's not. Only good things are going to come out of this, especially with the new series, Rewind Rumble. So don't forget to check that link down below to find out who's fighting in the first episode of Rewind Rumble. So with all that in mind, let's discuss why Mario is the winner in the post-analysis. For better or for worse, this is relatively an easy victory for Mario, and we will break down each category so you'll get a clear idea to see exactly why Mario stomps in this battle. Sonic. When it 
comes to speed, believe it or not, but Crash has been seen dodging lasers before, which would give him an FTL reaction speed, but that's just reaction speed. When it comes to actual combat speed, he is fast enough to levitate just from spinning. To lift his body weight just from spinning would prove he does have hypersonic levels of combat speed, but Mario can simply match and outclass Crash in both speed categories. Mario also has FTL reaction speeds as he can dodge lasers as well, but he also has FTL combat speed since he was fast enough to escape the gravity of a black hole. This is something we haven't seen Crash do before, giving a huge speed edge to Mario. Crash in his own right is pretty strong. He's strong enough to lift creatures similar to that of mammoths, which can easily be up to 6 tons or 12,000 pounds. Once again, this is very strong for anyone, but compared to Mario, sadly this isn't much. Forget the strength to outswim a black hole which Mario can do, but that would be overkill for the poor Bandicoot. So let's lower things down and just say Mario can easily lift a 60,000 ton castle. Assuming the castle is only 60,000 ton is somewhat downplay as well, but I am downplaying Mario only to put emphasis on how wide these gaps are between Mario Crash Bandicoot does have enough durability to survive a freefall from the atmosphere all the way down to the surface of the earth, which would give him at least city level durability. When it comes to power, he can easily scale to Crunch Bandicoot, who is strong enough to break through boulders, stone, and metals. For Mario, this is yet again a massive stomp. He is durable enough to survive the center of black holes and the core of stars. When it comes to power, this dude is the poster boy of Nintendo power. He can easily scale to Giant Bowser, who can shake planets, crack volcanoes and easily rip through entire castles. This is yet another handily category for Super Mario. Mario is roughly twice the age as Crash, which gives him about twice the experience level. Also, Mario is far more reliant and independent on his own, whereas Crash constantly seeks advice from his friends and from Aku Aku. He's not exactly known for having a massive IQ or anything, and Mario isn't exactly a brainiac either, but he's easily paces above Crash in the intelligence category, as he's been shown to be at least smart enough to successfully complete adventures with little or few advice from other characters. If you want a final verdict in three words, it's a stomp. There is no way to sugarcoat it. Mario completely destroys Crash in every single category. He is stronger, faster, more powerful, more durable, smarter, and more experienced. Crash is lacking in all of these categories, but that's not to say he's a weakling. He certainly has his fair share of powers, but compared to Mario, it just won't be enough for him to keep up. Making the winner of this battle, Super Mario. But both of these characters have much more powerful meme counterparts. So if you want to see a meme rematch between Granddad Mario versus Whoa Crash Bandicoot, all you have to do is like this video. If this video gets 3,000 likes, there will be a meme rematch. Also, don't forget to comment down your own ideas and stay tuned as most of you should know what this Saturday's full episode is going to be. Now before and after I announce that, don't forget to check out the new channel Rewind Rumble where the Season 3 format is taking place the quality format so check that out click the top link down below next saturday on cartoon fight club guys a certain someone is trying to take over this channel mario is trying to crush me and i ain't having that crap Oh no you don't! Man, everything looks perfect for Valentine's Day! Rosalina's gonna love all this, she's gonna love the chocolate, the bear, the starburst, she's gonna love everything. It's coming next Saturday, so stay tuned for it. If that feels like a lifetime away, please check out the Cartoon Fight Night channel, where we upload fights almost every night. And don't forget to check out that Cartoon Fight Club Season 3 update video, it's very important if you care about the third season of Cartoon Fight Club. I'm Animation Rewind, and I'll fast forward to you later.